I'm a typical city boy. My only worry was running back home after school, wondering if it's going to rain or not, so I get to go play basketball in the evening. I grew up in Lingbang. It's a little town in Sarawak that squeezed in between two halves of Brunei. Moving to KL was quite a culture shock for me, as I'm used to living in a small town. My parents are from Negeri Sembilan. They worked hard and managed to provide my siblings and I with a comfortable life. The family values that my parents instilled in us are brought with me wherever I went. Limbang is a small community. People are starting to live for better opportunities. That's also why I left for better access to education and exposure to what's out there. Nowadays, when I go to the park, you don't really see many kids out there playing. Perhaps they have moved on to the virtual space. I just hope this doesn't affect our community building in the long run. Especially with the advent of social media, these can be challenging times to navigate through. I'm a father of three, one of whom has special needs. Of course, there were challenges understanding him and finding out what support systems he needed. My son will always have a different way of looking at the world. And as a parent, I have to accept that. We can't always expect people to agree on everything. The key here is empathy. We need to have open discussions to understand what our differences are and why. For the future of Malaysia, this is what I hope to see. Acceptance. Acceptance of our differences, of others' opinions, of our uniqueness. That's what made us great before, and that is what will make us greater tomorrow. What I hope for Malaysia is to continuously improve how we educate our children, especially those in rural areas. We need to make education accessible and encourage the next generation to dream big. As Malaysia moves into the future, I want us to be able to preserve our community spirit. This means better town planning. We need access to public transport facilities and neighbourhood parks. It's about the integration of modern and green spaces. We need to think about developing the nation as building communities rather than just building houses for people. I am really lucky to be given a chance to have good education and to meet people who push me to take on new opportunities. It is these people who have led me to where I am today. And now is the time to give back. In my work with Corporate Malaysia, I've already started to see changes. Attitude, culture and governance are shifting towards building a more inclusive working environment for people like my friends. And that gives me the hope and excitement for what the future holds for the country and for my son, knowing that there will be a place for him in this land we call home.